Hey everyone, it's Serotonin. I'm doing one more video today. Um, I kind of brought up this guy um, <clears throat> a little bit um, in the previous video that I made today. I'm going to really try not to clear my throat during this, um, during this video. But anyway, um, this guy Dylan Lewis Monroe, um, whose video has sort of popped up, uh, this, this particular video has popped up all over um, a lot of the alternative media sites that I went to and I just there was a lot of red flags I um I was really interested in the QMAP I still am interested in the QMAP but there was a lot of red flags that came up for me watching this video so I just wanted to share some of them with you um so um I'm not going to play much of the video because I haven't had I don't have anything lined up specifically to talk about but a lot of what I want to say is already available to see right here so <clears throat> um number one one of the big red flags that comes up for me is the set itself. Um, this is a set uh, that has money attached to it. Um, I'm not entirely sure what the words say in the background, but that always concerns me when there's like words that you don't get to really see because um, English is a created language based off of Latin, which is apparently the reptilian language. And so English has a lot of basis in that. And um, we know that there's a lot of... Um, spell casting that happens with the English language that doesn't occur in a lot of other languages. Um, <clears throat> so there's that. Um, also, okay, so then the way these guys are dressed, um, and also just the couch, the couches, they, these, are the, these couches cost a lot of money. Um, and so there's money behind whatever is happening here, what, whoever these guys are. And I really don't know them. I've, I've never actually watched any of their videos before. Um, let's just have a quick look at who they are. This is the edge of winter, okay, and they've got their blue check mark, okay. They've got 287k subscribers. Now, this is, if anything, this is a video just on sort of deconstructing and, and what I look for. <clears throat> so number one, the way they're dressed and they're set, it just rubs me the wrong way. Um, the alternative media has been infiltrated 100%, absolutely. Why wouldn't they? If they've infiltrated the mainstream media, they would absolutely infiltrate the alternative media. Um, I don't really want to get into naming names because I don't really want to get into a poo-slinging match with anyone. But as I said in the previous video, um, anyone who is involved in any big names, um, anyone to do with s Secret Space Program, I would have a look at. Um, anyone talking about... Uh, I don't know anyone anyone even remotely mainstream ish in the alternative media people who anyone who is associated with Gaia TV I would have a huge red flag for they there is a huge thing going on with them there's a huge walkout so I would be very concerned with them anyone involved with anyone who's ex CIA anyone who refuses to give their name or identity but is willing to speak to Ex CIA agents to me is a huge red flag. It's one thing to be cautious about giving out your identity, but it's another thing to caution yourself against the world and yet to actively seek out people who are involved in things, covert programming like the CIA. So that's the number one thing. Um, most people who are really out there to tell the truth are being shut down. So they wouldn't have a set like this. They wouldn't have like a location. They wouldn't have like a little studio. So that was the first thing. Um, they also mentioned a couple of people that they're associated with. Both the hosts of this particular show and their guest. So again, I caution. Um, I would use caution with that. Um, What's the vibe you get from the people uh, that you're watching is also important. Um, purple is another really important thing to look for. Certain people who wear purple are part of the purple revolution. Another thing that I didn't, uh, that was a red flag for me. There's no purple, excuse me, really going on here. But another thing that was a big red flag for me was they refer to themselves as the rebellion. And <clears throat> as far as I know, most people who are trying to work on the inside um, to for liberation are referring to it as an alliance. So rebellion was just kind of like, you know what? Um, and the other thing, so their guest, okay, have a lot of red flags around him. So number one, and I'm not trying to be mean or cheeky, but he looks 
like this dude. <laughs> he looks like Riff Raff from the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Like, almost identical, same hairdo, kind of similar look. Um, so already, I'm not getting a good vibe off of that. The Rocky Horror Picture Show was absolutely a programming hypnotism mind control type movie. Uh, it pushed a lot of the transhumanism that we're dealing with right now. There's like, there's a lot of going, stuff going on with the Rocky Horror. And um, <clears throat> Susan Sarandon was in there and she very famously completely vehement, vehemently de denies that she was even in the movie. But there is uh, McAllister, Linda Paris has uh, McAllister TV has a video that ties Susan Sarandon to the Ping Pong Empire and the Standard Hotel. So really watch out for that. There is another video um, where they actually show this is like the second part of the interview with this guy where they actually show him like chatting with people doing some kind of conference. Um, again, super slick, lots of money put into this. And it's not just the sets. It's also the camera footage. Um, I've worked in video, like stream streaming video, and um, you know I also did like Betamax. Like I'm old enough to have done analog. I did like eight millimeter and sixteen millimeter. Um, <clears throat> there's a certain quality of film, uh, especially even digital film and editing, that comes with having money. The other thing that was a big red flag and sort of the biggest one, I guess, is that the entire Q map everything is attributed to this one guy. Um, people that want to de debunk Q, uh, there's many of them out there and it's kind of gotten to the point now where a lot of people who are very hip to trolls and bots are like, okay, if you're trying to debunk Q, then you're obviously, you know, you're, you've been outed as working for the cabal. But what if, um, you know, cause the Q map is big stuff. Like it's, it's kind of, um, hang on a second. Let me, uh, See if I can find his website. Um, Q map. So <clears throat> for those of you that don't know, um, okay, perfect. This is great. Okay. So this is what the Q map looks like. Okay. It's pretty complex. Now, I do believe that there is a Q map out there and it exists and that it is a viable one. Um, there is a certain very well-known um, YouTube blogger. Oh, I'll just say it. Jordan Sather is one of the ones who's like big on this Q map. So, okay. All I'm saying is tons of information. Who's to say that uh, stuff hasn't been adjusted? Lines haven't been redrawn. Um, things haven't been edited. The original Q map has been then subverted or is, you know, just subdued. And this is the new one that's come out because I don't buy for a second that this Q map plus three other ones that he, he made, it all comes from the, the one mind. I just thought, I'm sorry, but I just don't. And maybe I'm just a mean doubter, but you know, a lot of, okay. So I'm still not done though. In this interview, one of the two, and I believe it's in this one, from Vampires to Pindars. Don't show this to your mom. Okay, first of all, anybody in the truth movement is like, tell everybody far and wide that don't show this to your mom. That sounds like a tagline from an MTV show. Like, oh my God, like, don't show this to your mom. She's going to freak out. No, people who are pushing for truth want everyone to know, whether it's your mom, your grandmother, like, they can handle it. Trust me. Uh, I mean, maybe not all in one go, but... Um, I don't know. I just, the whole thing really bothered me. It just was, it, it, it smacked of cheesiness. But, okay, going back to this, in this video, there's a part where he describes some of the incredibly horrific satanic ritual that some person related to, you know, Vlad the Impaler was responsible for going back now, like in the 1400s or something, and this person, it was well documented that they used to do this terrible thing where they would, um, you know, drain the blood from these bodies and bathe in it. And there's much more to it than that. And I just don't want to get into it. Anyway, he actually said, after describing this, it's so disgusting, it's impressive. And he smiled. And that was it. I was like, oh, duper's delight. He, this guy, is full of duper's delight. The whole time, both interviews... He's smug, he's vague, 
he's not saying it, it like he's kind of dancing around a lot of answers and stuff anyway it's just very it's noticeable once you once you're like oh my gosh he's being evasive he's being smug he's being it's ego there he's smirking at this like it's just oh my goodness it's unbelievable and then just for fun just for kicks because i like to do this every now and then i put him in the gematria calculator and it said here leo krishan my roommate no one exceeds his potential you are the chosen child wrath i enter your dream hawk moon purify race and bloodline Matreya can't imitate me. I mean, and like, it just goes on and on. Anyway, you know, I am what I am. I mean, I know that was Popeye, but that sounds a lot like do what thou wilt as well. You know, it sounds a bit like an Alistair Crowley. Anyway, okay, I'm done. I've, um, I really, really want to get back to doing some of the other videos that I really planned on doing, but I just had to, uh, again, get off my chest. So there you go. Red flags. God bless everyone and stay warm.